Geo Park Yellow. I'm not sure how you say it. Bye bye. <laughs> another bus tour and we're gonna go to a couple of places like the gardens, the rainbow village and a couple other things. In my house! Start this video in your house. Start this video in three. Okay guys, so update. This is the flower garden, flower park, I'm not sure. And it costs 300 um, Taiwan dollars, so that's 600 pesos each. And may nakita kasi ako mga Pinoy sa labas. Sabi ko, maganda ba sa loob? Tapos sabi nila, uh, okay lang, pero mas maganda daw sa Pilipinas. So, when we got in, it's nice, it's very nice, it's very picture perfect Instagram worthy pictures and stuff but um, we didn't want to pay 300 per head so it's a lot to just take photos so we went back in the bus But first, we're gonna eat. So it yeah. will cost you about 120 uh, Taiwanese dollars. And then, if you get the buffet, it's 350 with the entrance already. So can you convert that? 350, 700. So 700 ang buffet. And I think it's barbecue, like Korean barbecue. So, I hope they have kimchi. And then we're gonna look at the garden after. So, ang kids wala na atang bayad. We'll see. Wala na atang bayad. And there's a minimum four people required.
all about photo taking. Picture taking lang talaga lahat. Wala talagang like activities na putahan dito. So, taking pictures. Which is okay lang. Souvenir na din yung photos. Si Red, where? That's orange. Orange yan. Hi! He fell asleep in the car and he's tired. Oh, Tito Henry. Go to Tito Henry. Hello. Tito Henry Carey. <laughs> yeah. So we are now here at the Rainbow Village. So it's just a big place where like everything's um, painted. I'm gonna take pictures. Looks so cute. I'll show you guys in a minute. We'll be doing the live. We will. Did you make all of these? seashells. Did you draw all of these, baby? We should do this in our house, right? No, no. He's doing that with his water. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Is your water nice and tasty? Uh -huh. <laughs> and as you can see, they have high chairs. You just have to tell them ahead of time that you have two kids or whatever. And they have all these aluminum to the kids and plastic spoon. So you don't have to bring your own. I usually bring a um, spoon and fork. <laughs> and a glass. <laughs> but I left the spoon and fork in the other restaurant. He's trying to choke himself. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> what? How was the food earlier? It's great. It was that one-star Michelin. 
Wow. Wow. No, it's actually pretty good. Wow. I enjoyed it. Noodles. Uh, they tasted like noodle. It had soup. Tasted like beef. Had beef. Tasted like beef. Yeah. A little spicy. It works. <laughs> Is it a, something that you should try when you're here? It's definitely something you should try when you're here. It's also something your wife should learn how to cook. So you do not go hungry. Nice try. Nice try. Wow. Please yourself. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Ikaw daw, Sean, be? Ikaw pero nag, ano, Aiden and Travis will be here. Ano mga Be, ka-gym na ka. Look at me! Oh. <laughs> one hand, one hand! Eh, yeah, Vin Diesel. Good job, Vin Diesel! Good job! Go, go, go! Oh, this is not going to be good. Go, go, Power Rangers! Okay, Kaya! Where's the banana? <laughs> So I'm going to try this. This is the classic Taiwan beer. I've seen this in a lot of restaurants, but it wasn't smart to drink while I have the kids. So the kids are asleep, so let me try this. We are currently packing for tomorrow's trip. Shan is naked. So I'm going to try this. Do you think I can bring this for my dad? Sean? What? You think I can bring this for my dad? No. Pale Pilsen. Sean? What? Tastes exactly like Pale Pilsen. Really? San Miguel Pale Pilsen, exactly. I have another one if you want. So I really wanted to try it, but I, it wasn't smart to, you know, drink and then you have the kids around. So. So I'm going to end the vlog here, but before I do, <laughs> before I do, I'm just gonna do a quick um, little like a review or a recap of our Taipei trip. <laughs> Aiden farted this. Aiden? Aiden farted? Aiden's asleep. Hi. <laughs> don't get married. Anyway, so I'm going to have a little review or a recap or what our first impression of Taiwan is. So Sean's here, he's just gonna talk. He's packing up. Um, his part of the clothes, which is apparently a lot. You pack everything? Yeah, everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, your fart thing. <laughs> no more noodles for you. <laughs> no more. Spicy food. Okay, so 
Um, first, the weather. The weather will days Hands like down best in Asia so far. October. So it's October. So they said it's like the end of the typhoon season. So I guess the the coolness of the typhoon season is still there. But it's really nice out. Like there's sun. Yung sikat ng araw, it's still there. Masakit pa rin siya. But the wind is so cool na parang we would be walking the whole day and we won't break a sweat at all. And that's crazy coming from me. If you know me personally, you know how crazy I sweat. Like I sweat right away. But I haven't really sweat here. So, um, what else? Weather, um, accommodations we have this hotel it's pretty nice i'll put like whatever the name is right here i'll try if it there's an english if this is is there an english translation probably so um it is right near the biggest i'm not sure if biggest but one of the nicest night markets which is the shimending market so like all the, yeah, the everything. It's like from branded, non-branded to food, to street food. Um, it has everything there. So it's the more like the in crowd, I guess. Yeah, I don't think they can hear you though because the mic is up here. Um, but you can come closer. <laughs> and yeah, so it's right beside that area. We were just walking. It's like a ten-minute walk in the cool air so it's not a problem at all um and yeah it's really good to find a location or or hotel or airbnb or anything that's around a good area because there will be a lot of walking so um taxis there's taxis everywhere but they don't speak english so it was i think we used uber twice and the second time was the only time that we actually had oh we used uber three times and the second the third time was the only time that um we had a good driver that spoke amazing english like great english because they would just give you like sign language or something like that so it's really hard to go around um but transportation wise their mrt is very efficient um it is still really hard to figure it out but you have ways, you have like maps and all that. Um, yeah, so you can just go around using that. But most of the time, you really have to walk. So you have to walk to other places. Food. Okay, so food here is good. I like the food here. Yeah. I like the food here. There's a lot, a lot of choices like Taiwanese food, Chinese food, which is the same, <laughs> I would say. Yeah. And um, the Japanese. Food is American food? Oh yeah, we went to an Italian restaurant. It's not bad, but it was it wasn't good as well. Um, they have McDonald's everywhere, so if you're in a budget, um, you can just have Mac eat a McDonald's. It's cheaper to eat at uh, what? McDonald's is more expensive. Yeah, McDonald's here is expensive, but at least it's familiar. Like like you know, if you have kids that are picky eaters, yeah. it's familiar. But um. It's quite expensive. Also, they don't have french fries. Do they have french they fries? It's not for the kids menu. Oh yeah, their kids menu did not have french fries. So you have to order that separate. And then, what else? Um, they don't serve any straws here. So, which is good. But if you're like my kids, they're really used to like stainless steel straws or silicone straws. So I always brought one in the bag for them. Um, what else? Food is quite expensive. So, example, um, it will say 100 um, Taiwanese dollars. That's actually 200 pesos. So, more, half sha more. And then... But the average plate, I would say, is about 250. 250. So, per meal. It's like this is a restaurant. At 250, 200. Um, so, 120 like that. That's so that's 500 pesos per person. Per person, per person yan, huh? So, is it, is it family or kid friendly? I would say yes. yes. It I is very, very kid friendly. 
Um, we had bad advice. Yeah. <laughs> We had bad advice <laughs> and they said like don't bring a stroller, there's no place that you can bring a stroller, uh, it's very hard. But then when we got here, every single kid, even if it was a toddler, was in a stroller. And we were like, why is everybody bringing a stroller? And then we figured out right away, it's because there's a lot of walking. Like you walk to the MRT, you walk to the night market, you walk to the mall, like short trips well as long jeep eh, so there's nothing you can do but just walk and all the mrts have elevators for kids yeah so the ele everything's yeah kid everything's kid friendly um even their their public bathrooms have like a kid sink a kid you know everything so it's good all restaurants they're really good um, they usually serve like a spoon and fork for the kids because there's no spoon and fork here. We had to bring our own. Um, so everything is chopsticks. And then, yeah, it's very, very kid friendly. It's super safe. I would say even if in a crowded place, I would still see kids not with their parents and running around. Like, I don't think it's an issue. But of course, we were like too paranoid, so we didn't let go of the kids. But, but yeah, it's pretty safe. Um, what else? What is it there's to see in Thailand? Uh, in Thailand, in Taiwan? Um, there's a lot of things to see in Taiwan. Like, even in the city itself, there's so many activities that you can do in the city. But everybody has been telling us, you have to go away from the city, like, out of the city to do all the other stuff. And we did, and a couple of them we would say that it's worth it, but not 100% of them would be worth it, because like you know flower gardens rainbow stuff like it's very nice it's so picture perfect for instagram and stuff but you have to travel two hours to get there and spend money and to take photos so i don't know if that's something that you would want to do like we personally like to do more of activity so we went to the zoo that's another vlog i'm gonna talk about the zoo um so yeah, one thing that you have to have to have to bring when you're a mom and you're traveling with kids to Taiwan, bring your sanitizer. I forgot to bring my sanitizer. I think I ran out of sanitizer and wasn't able to buy in Manila because our flight was really, we came in Manila really late and we left really early. So I wasn't able to buy um, sanitizer in the Philippines. When I got to Taiwan, they absolutely don't have any sanitizers. Like, I went to 7-Eleven, to Family Mart, to Watson's. They don't have sanitizers. They What they have is, like, a big bottle. I'm going to show a clip here. It's a big bottle of, like, alcohol. You know, the ones that you use it when you go for an operation or you give birth, they give that to you. It's huge. And that's all that they have for disinfectant. They don't have any small ones. We were able to buy one in a very weird where did you pick that up it was like it was in a weird, weird section of watson's like why would there be hand sanitizers here but it costs like a small bottle around 170 pesos no 70 100, yeah 170. yeah 170 pesos so imagine that so, and you know the kids you know we were going around and everything and i was just i'm just really used to having a sanitizer and just you know washing the kids hands before they eat and stuff like that so i'm very dependent on it and yeah it was exciting. okay that's it for now i'm gonna do a different vlog about itinerary about um booking flights and everything tips about um taiwan soon as soon as i get home, probably get home and like settle um but that's it for today's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this enjoyed this video um like this video if you haven't liked it subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber and i'll see you in the next one bye